Hi, my name is Jeremy Shines, and welcome to another episode of Community Conversations in Battle Mountain. Today's guest is Brittany Anderson. Hi. All right, let's get started. So, Brittany, how long have you been in Battle Mountain? Well, I have lived here since first grade. I have left and went to college in Reno, and lived a little bit in Vegas. How do you like Battle Mountain? Uh, I love Battle Mountain. You love Battle Mountain? Yes. Okay. I did not know that you were here for that long. Yes. I was blown away. <laughs> a long time. Was, there, was it always this way? Um, always small town feeling community, yes. Uh -huh. yeah, we've always been this way. Um, it's a great place to raise your kids. Yeah. You know, everybody knows everybody kind of thing. You don't have to worry about them going to, you know, someone's house that you really don't know. So that makes it nice. That's awesome. That is. I'm not from a small town. Yeah. So this is kind of a di difficult for me. Yeah. Um, so, well, what else would you say? What is the good? What is the bad? What would you like to see change? What has changed? Um... Well, we got the new rec center, so that was a that was a good start. Uh, more things for kids, though. Uh, and we need to modernize that amount. We need to modern. We need to be more relevant. Yes, <laughs> but it's fine to have a small town. I love the small town vibe, but we can still be modern mm -hmm. and still be a small town. That's good. Now yes. I agree with that. Yeah. Um. And we need to preserve our history. There's so much stuff historical in Battle Mountain that I don't think people quite realize. I mean, you could travel right just north of town and find Stony Point, and that's in most history books. It's where when the pioneers came over, the 49ers, they built that wall. Right here? Yeah, right here. And, and, okay, so I have another question. <laughs> the question is, why do they name it Battle Mountain? Was there a war here? Now that is a question that everybody asks, and I don't think no one quite has the answer. No one has, no one quite has but the answer. But they have said that there was a battle with some of the Indians that were here mm -hmm. that happened up somewhere. But to know if that's true, I don't think anybody really knows. Have you been in the reservation area? Um, my grandma is a quarter Indian, and she lives on the reservation. Really? Yes. So you've been there? Yes, I actually grew up there. On the you reservation. grew up there, yes. really? <laughs> Wow, and I see that's why we have this show, okay? <laughs> you can find so, out all this interesting stuff. Yeah, you know, a lot of people grew up here. Yeah. Okay. Um, what else would you say? Um, I would like to see. I would like to see the schools grow a little bit more. You know, recently we haven't had any music and arts in the schools. I've heard that too. That's a thing. And, and that's important to me. Not. Uh, not that we want kids to grow up and be entertainers, but I just feel like it's good culture. It gives them more and broadens the horizons. Things to enjoy, and I think music and art would be great to have that. I agree. So we're starting our we're starting this. Yes, this is great. Um, we need more um, news about that. You know, the community needs to get out there and. Show their pride and talk a little bit more. Right, right. And, and hopefully this these conversations can start that conversation. Yes. Well, yeah. To be honest, we were at the game. Last time we sh shot, we were there. I felt something different. Did you? I did. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm not from Battle Mountain and I'm getting to know people. Uh -huh. But I felt like people were more relational yes. than I've ever seen them. Yes. Maybe yeah. I'm changing. Yeah. <laughs> No, I, you know, uh, Battle Mountain really does well when they need to support someone or something. The community really comes together and opens up. Mm -hmm. So we were doing the fundraiser for Roman. I think everybody was just ready to 
help out and get their input and do whatever they can. You want to talk a little bit about that? Okay, well, the Battle Mountain Adult Softball League decided to throw a fundraiser for Ronin. They um, are doing all their proceeds from concessions and donating it back to my family to help with bills and travel expenses because Ronin has leukemia and we travel every 20 days to Reno for chemo treatments. That is a great support. And for a lot of people who don't know that the softball league, what it's about, it's about you know, not only helping our community, but the people in our community. And um, the softball league has been doing that. And there are some other people that were helping along with that as well, right? Yes. Um, the hospital or any like, you know, the school? No. But a lot of the small businesses. The did. small businesses. Yes, 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 small businesses. Um, I know the business that I work for, Garden Lake Floral, they donated to help out. Um, just, and uh, lots of people have helped out us in other ways, not through the adult league. Uh -huh. Like Point S, they put on new tires, charge no free, they're free. Wow. So that way we could travel safely to Oakland wow. when we were making the long trips. Wow. And that was, that was huge. Tires were important, yeah. and we needed them, and they donated them to us. Wow. So, uh, Battle Mountain has great things like that. I feel like Battle Mountain has a lot of potential. Yes. Like, a lot of great potential. Yeah. It's just kind of, like, handicapped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we need to, um, we need to show that we're a great town. Bring in some new stuff. Bring in some new stuff. You know, things for kids, nice or once upon a time had a bowling alley. What happened with that bowling alley? Um, just financially, it, it's not that it so much wasn't making the money. Uh -huh. I just don't think they were financially putting it where it should go. And so then it closed down and then the fireworks, no one wanted to reopen it and the fireworks shop bought it and now uses it for storage. We know that, you know. But I think it's a great thing to get adults and kids playing something together, get out. You know, that's, that's why I love we, softball, even though me and Tim are out there playing, our kids are still running around, having fun playing with other kids. And even for winter, right? Yes, winter would be nice to have something going on winter. We need more winter sports. And whether it be, you know, starting up a kickball league or a volleyball league at the rec center, mm -hmm. it'd be nice to see it happen. And that's the thing is, like, we. We have the potential, we yeah. have the resources, we, we have, have the buildings, we have the people, and I honestly feel like the only thing we don't have, listen closely, <laughs> is the conversations yeah. to, to talk about it, to initiate it. And, and see who's interested and see who's willing to sit on the board and get that stuff started. It does, it does take a lot of work. Right. That's one thing I don't know if people understand is you have to get a board together. You have to go and put in all the paperwork to get the league started. It was not easy for the softball league to start. So people got to step up. Yep. We have to have someone willing to put the time in and step up. Right. I wish I could be that person, but with Ronan, it keeps me busy. Okay. But eventually, yes. Right. I would love to sit on a couple boards and do more for our community. Okay. I think we can do it. Yeah. I think, we, I think we're headed there. For sure. I mean, we, we can't be going backwards. No. <laughs> we might be going at a pace of a snail, but <laughs> yes. we are moving somewhere. <laughs> We're all going to die one day. That's not encouraging, but. <laughs> um, and, you know, bringing that, like, just bringing attention to things that we have here in town for the kids to do. Sometimes our advertisement isn't that good. We need to really get out there and shout it out. You know, Facebook's a great way, but maybe starting up some new pages to where people can say, oh, I didn't know this was going on during this weekend, you know? So that way we can go and enjoy it all as a community. Together. Yeah. And that was like when we got here, you know, personally speaking, I was like, you know, trying to trying to make your way. You yeah. know, trying to, trying to start stuff and there's things dying and realizing myself, I was like, okay, I'm a guy that's like, I tried this, doesn't work, I'm not trying that again, you know what I mean? I'm going to try to become something different, you know, and I'm going to move forward. 
know, we're not going to keep doing the same thing over and over again. And I feel like if we have things going on, that's how we get new people to join into mm-hmm. our community. Right, right. Because sometimes it's hard to break into our small town by, like, people are like, we to make friends, and nobody wants to be friends. So if we can do it when we're doing community events and get to know new people, yeah. it'd be great. And I, and I think that, I think, it, it's going to be great. It is great. You know, the mines is a big thing here. Yes. But I think we need something more than the mines. Not not more, just, you know, something. Something to add on to it. Because, no, of, because, because, it. because, no. because of the financial, financially, yes. like, most people are living off the mines. And when things don't work out there, they just leave. You know, so. And I feel like that's why we got to make our town a film. So that way new developments and new businesses will want to come here. Right, right. Make this place. Right. The first thing I did when I came out here, I told you earlier, but just for you guys, <laughs> the first thing I did was I Googled and YouTubed Battle Mountain. And the only thing I really found was the human um, powered powered, powered racing. Yeah. You basically sit in like a little cocoon with some wheels on it. And for the people who really love it, that's pretty awesome. I'm going to actually shoot that. That was about it. And I was like, you know, but then you would look at places like Elko or, you know, Carlin or some other place. I'm sure that's like Battle Mountain, but their community is very tight and they're, and they're, they're doing it. Yes, you know? yes. And uh, Battle Mountain has great events. We just need to record them and show people, like, look at all the great events we have too, where Elko and Carlin and other small towns have already. <laughs> surpassed us on that. <laughs> <laughs> right. They're getting their knowledge out there. They're like, hey, come stay in our town and come move here because we have all this to right. enjoy. We just need to put ourselves out there. So would you like to see like, you know, libraries? You know, we have a nice little library here. That's right next to the Civic Center. Mm-hmm. We just, um, I feel like we need to up our technology though through our library. Because sure. people... I don't to read books anymore. So if we had something fun there, you know, whether it was some computer system that the kids could go and learn on, that'd be great. Yeah, because there, I mean, I mean, there's so much more to libraries nowadays. There you go to a, you go to a big city library and they have computers. Right. They have, you know, of course they have all kinds of books, but they have little classes going on too. And it seems like the the biggest thing. I don't think it's really money, to be honest. I think it's who's willing to do it. Yeah. That's, that's the challenge. Um, the, rec, the rec center's a great spot. You know? And I feel like when there's not much to do, then there's a lot of this, you know, and most of it isn't benefiting anybody. No. And that's the thing is like, you know, you need to reach out, we need to. I feel like another part we need to jump outside of our comfort zone and find out what you. I've never been to an auction. Oh, I went to one this morning. How was that? It was cool. <laughs> was that the storage? The storage, yeah. There was, they were auctioning things off. It was like, I think it was, I thought it was cool. You know, just getting outside. I've never pitched like softball and stuff. I've yeah. never even played softball. And I, it's, it's so, a great feeling though to get out there. We're getting exercise, which I think is huge. We all need to do that. Um, but you're making new friends and <clears throat> kind of even building a little family out of your team. We met through the softball league. Yes. And it was, you know, fight for rowing. I would see the shirt, you know. Mm-hmm. Just it, just little by little, just, you know, you meet somebody and you would say, hey, then the next time you see him, Hey, how are you doing? Then yeah. the next time you see him, hey, how are you doing? How's the kids? You know, the next time you see him, and then suddenly here we are on this. Yes. I, I really think softball week has made it easier for people to meet other people. Right. You get to know people that you're living in, in town with and stuff. So oh. we need more, we just need, we need more activities. We need more activities. We need and stuff for our kids and kids and adult friends. Yeah. Yeah, it's great when we can do it together as family and stuff like that. Awesome. I really agree, like more activities for family oriented.
Okay. Well, I think that's basically about it. Okay. I mean, you want to tell anything else? No, I think that's it. All right. Well, thank you for tuning in. Um, we would hope that we see you in our next episode. Uh, this is Brittany Anderson. And Brittany Anderson, this is Battle Mountain. Bye. And this is Joy. She's been in every single episode. At the end. God bless. Right. You Sweet. always make the best ending, huh? Yeah. <laughs>